Hey everyone, my name is Jamie and I am a second year emergency medicine resident. So I read an interesting article last week. It's all about how residents in different specialties self-sort themselves into different houses from the world of Harry Potter. So there are four different houses and they all have different characteristics associated with them. Gryffindor is known for their courage, bravery, and chivalry. Hufflepuffs are known for their hard work, patience, justice, and loyalty. Slytherins are known for their ambition, leadership, and their resourcefulness. Raven Claws are known for their intelligence, creativity, and wit. So this paper found that a significant number of residents in surgical specialties self-sorted as Slytherins compared to residents that are not in surgical specialties. Also, they found that the surgical residents were much less likely to identify as Hufflepuffs compared to residents who were not in a surgical field. Most of the residents, no matter what specialty, chose themselves to be Gryffindor, which makes sense. It's like the protagonist of the books and the movies. Um, but even within the other houses, there are some interesting findings. General surgery was more likely to self-identify as Gryffindor, uh, whereas orthopedics were much likely to identify as Slytherins. For the non-surgical specialties, the pediatric residents were more likely to self-sort as Hufflepuffs compared to the other residents. And for emergency medicine and internal medicine residents, they mostly self-sorted as Gryffindors, but it wasn't statistically significant. Interestingly, OBGYNs were much more likely to identify as Ravenclaws and uh, in this paper they actually consider OBGYNs to be non-surgical, um, their reasoning being that most of them go into uh, general practice and only do surgery once a week. Um, I personally consider OBGYNs to be a surgical specialty, but whatever. So after reading the paper, I do agree with most of the findings, but I still wanted to do my own little sorting hat and sort all the different specialties into the different houses based on my experience with them. All right, so residencies in Harry Potter. Here we go. Under residencies, we have Gen Surge, EM, Pediatrics, IM, Family Medicine, ob Psych, and Derm. All right, so we're gonna start with Gen Surge. I think Gen Surge definitely belongs in the House of Slytherin. Just cause they work really hard and they're confident and I feel like they're very ambitious. They spend long hours in the hospital and I just feel like they're the go-getters and they like nothing will stand in their way. And I think that's kind of the attitude you have to have to be successful in a surgical specialty. So that's where they're gonna go. EM, honestly, I think EM kind of belongs in all different houses just because you have so many different kinds of people who come through. Um, and maybe that's just like my own bias because I work with a lot of EM people, um, but I definitely have seen some very Slytherin-like people. Um, you know, a lot of people who are deciding between surgery and EM and they last minute want to come to emergency medicine. Um, I do see a lot of Gryffindor-like people. For example, I see a lot of um, people who used to be EMTs or paramedics or firefighters and they and then they transition to emergency medicine. So I think they really exemplify a lot, a lot of the traits like bravery and um, courage. And um, so I think Gryffindor definitely. And I think a lot of people in EM have very Hufflepuff-like characteristics too. Lots of hardworking, um, very patient people, a lot of very like loyal people also. So I'm gonna also put them in Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw because lots of very smart like um, kind of think on the go kind of people um, come to EM. So I think EM really just kind of brings a lot of different types of people in. So I'm gonna put them in all the different houses. Next up is pediatrics. And I do agree with their assessment, their own assessment. I do think that a lot of them um, are Hufflepuffs. They are very patient, very loyal, very hardworking. Um, it just takes a lot of patience to not only work with the kids, but their family members as well, so I give them a lot of credit for that. I think they also um, have a lot of the qualities of Ravenclaw House. Um, a lot of them are very intelligent and very creative, um, so I'm gonna put them in Ravenclaw as well. Next up is internal medicine. You know, internal medicine is tricky because after internal medicine residency, a lot of them go on to do lots of different um, fellowships, so that can go in many directions, like more procedural, like GI can be more um, like not as procedural things like um, palliative care, you can go into cardiology, you know, so many different fields that you can go into after 
in internal medicine residency. So I feel like they probably have a little bit of like all the qualities from the different houses, but mostly I'm gonna put them in Gryffindor. Uh, I do want to put them in Ravenclaw, like very, very smart people in internal medicine. Um, yeah, I'll put them there. Next up is family medicine. All right. Uh, family medicine, I'm going to put them in um, Hufflepuff. Kind of similar to like pediatrics. I, I feel like you need a lot of patience and loyalty um, and a lot of like hard working to build up long-term relationships with um, your patients. Um, so I think definitely belong in the house of Hufflepuff. So next up is OBGYN. Um, I do agree with their own assessment that they are very smart people. Um, but I'm also gonna put them in Slytherin because um, I do consider them to be kind of basically like a surgical specialty. So I feel like they do reflect a lot of the characteristics of surgical residents. Um, so I'm gonna put them there. Next up is Psych. Where should, where should I put Psych? You know, there are a lot of like very smart thinkers in Psych, you know? Um, I'm gonna put them in Ravenclaw, but I'm also gonna put them in Gryffindor. I do feel like you need a lot of bravery and courage to work with um, um, psych patients, mental illness, so I'm gonna put them in Gryffindor as well. Next is Derm. You know where Derm should go? I think, uh, what's that household? What's that, what's that school that came to visit? And they're all like French, Bobatoon? Boba that is where Derm should go. Because first of all, Oh, <laughs> because first of all, I never, I never see Derm. <laughs> I never see Derm in the emergency department. I think I've seen them maybe once in two years. Um, so we're gonna put Derm in the house or the school of, hopefully I'm spelling this right. This is where Derm goes. And they're like nicely dressed and they're pretty and they know about skincare. That's where they go. And what's the other house? What's the other school? Dormstrang. That is where also people will go. Cause they're like buff and strong and smart. So with all that said, I'm actually really curious about which house I belong to. I know there's a lot of quizzes out there where I can take the quiz and find out which house. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one now. And I'm just gonna close the video here and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>